thank you for joining us. We are live on the Little Things Facebook page, and you are watching Slice. It is a show where we give chefs $12 and 20 minutes to cook a meal for two. Taking this Slice Challenge today is Chef Ramin Ganeshram. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And you are the author of Cooking with Coconut. Yep. What are you making today? I'm making a dish that's a version of Pachan, which is a Korean pancake that usually has um, seafood or it could just be vegetable based. It's, it's a, a very East Asian type of preparation, this savory pancake. Very nice. And we do have a judge in the house. Jeremy from Brunch Boys will be judging Hi. you on taste, creativity, and presentation. The chefs with the highest scores at the end of the season will be invited back to take the ultimate slice challenge. And now coconut is kind of a trend right now. What made you want to write a whole cookbook on cooking with it? Uh, yeah, it's a great question. So my father was from Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. in the Caribbean, uh, where coconut is vanilla, right? and. I love it. I've always loved it since I was a child. It was hard to get, even here in New York City, where I was born and raised. Um, so it was a very mystical, magical ingredient to me. And as it started to trend, I thought, this is my moment. I get to do everything coconut. And so that's why I wrote the book. I love coconut. If you're watching out there, if you love coconut, give us a like, a thumbs up for all the coconut lovers. And tell us again what you bought and how much it cost. This is the Slice Challenge. You have $12 to spend. So. 20 minutes on the clock. So tell us again what you bought and how much it costs. Sure. So two eggs, they're about 30 cents for the two. Soy sauce, 75 cents worth. Chives for 50 cents. Kabocha or acorn squash, this is acorn that we're using today, 150. Coconut flour, $1.20. Rice flour, dollars worth. Shrimp, 260 today. Shrimp, of course, can vary in price based on the market, so but it should be around that. Coconut oil for a dollar, rice wine vinegar for 50 cents, sesame oil 40 cents, garlic 50 cents, coconut sugar about 10 cents worth, red pepper flakes for a dollar, and sesame seeds for 25 cents for a total of $11.60. So you had a few cents to spare? Just a few. Now, we have 20 minutes on the timer today. You get 20 minutes or less to make this dish. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with eggs. Um, I like to crack eggs into, not the bowl that I'm gonna mix them in, um, just for the simple reason that if the egg shell gets into the broken eggs, you can fish it out. It's not right into your preparation. So that's gonna go into a mixing bowl, and we're gonna put it on high so it gets nice and fluffy. I'm gonna peel the squash. So you're gonna have your squash take the seeds out, and just peel it. You're not gonna use a lot for this recipe, about a quarter cup. Um, and you're gonna use, I'll show you, the small holes on the grater, very specifically so the squash can cook and it's not raw. If you have a food processor, you can use that as well. Um, but it's such a small amount, you really don't need to. Just watch your fingers. Well, that's about right. So now we're going to add about three quarters cup of cold water to this, mixing the whole time. And then it's kind of, you can add your ingredients as you will. So we'll just throw in the squash. And next we're going to do chives. So the chives have to be minced finely. We're going to do about a tablespoon more or less for this. And that's gonna go right in. You can see that this is pretty fluffy now, um, which actually you want that. So you want it to be nice and fluffy. And at this point, you don't really need the mixer. So you can add things by hand. Um, salt, certainly. Coconut flour, this is about a half a cup. Rice flour, about a half a cup. So now we're doing shrimp. Um, I do a quarter pound for this recipe, but again, if you like it, add more. You can see I'm just mincing it roughly. Um, there's no science to this. They just have to be small enough to cook through uh, when, you, when you do the pancakes. So just keep that in mind. When, when you do this type of dish, you just wanna make sure that everything is at the right size so that it can cook thoroughly and you don't have a raw piece of shrimp and 
you know, a cooked, overcooked piece of squash. You want it all to be nice and even. One of our viewers, Shavitri, says coconut is very important for your body. Could you tell us about some of the health benefits of coconut? Absolutely. So um, coconut has a very low glycemic index, which is, which is great if you have any issues with sugar, you know, or you want to, you know, watch your sugar. So you can see as I'm mixing this, the fluffiness um, is, is going down. Um, we're just going to heat up the coconut oil. About three tablespoons, more or less. That's a good hot pan. See how it melts? Coconut oil is semi-solid at room temperature. Okay, so you're gonna do about, I like to make them fairly small because they can be, um, you know, appetizer size. You can see the pan is quite hot. Um, but sometimes these can be made the full width of a pan this size. I don't, I find it's not quite as nice. Okay. All right, so while that's frying, it's a couple of minutes on each side, let's make um, the dipping sauce. So this is soy sauce, um, sesame oil. It's a very kind of common ingredient in uh, many Asian dipping sauces. So the thing about um, coconut products is that they don't all have a very strong coconut taste. Like this is coconut sugar that I'm putting in this dipping sauce. It has almost no coconut taste whatsoever because it's not from the coconut fruit, it's from the sap of the coconut tree. I'm just gonna add some garlic to this sauce. Okay, so that's garlic. That was a pretty big clove. I happen to like garlic. If you don't, you could use less. Um, if you do, you can certainly use more. Let's ask the judge. Jeremy, do you like garlic? I do like garlic. Okay, that's so this good. is Maybe other this people won't like you. it so much when I eat it, but I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. <laughs> This could easily be a lunch, a very nice lunch with um, a salad mm. um, or with a soup. So I just like it to be around this color of brown um, because then I know that the shrimp are cooked. Um, of course, shrimp have a lovely little internal temperature gauge, right, where they, they turn pink and you know they're ready, but you can't quite see them in there. So I just like to be sure. And now we're asking people what their favorite type of pancake is. Jeremy, what's your favorite type? I know you're the brunch boy. Hmm. You know, I I go for like chocolate on chocolate. Maybe like a little chocolate. banana. Give me like cho yeah, chocolate chip banana with like chocolate sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I like blueberry pancakes. Pancakes? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it looks like you're planning already. Jeremy, if yeah. you want to join her. Sure, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Again, you will be judged on presentation, taste, yep. and creativity. Okay. So, Ramin, are you done? I am done. We have stopped the clock. Yeah. So before you dive into this with a fork, Jeremy, a presentation yeah. okay, pre on a scale of one to ten. I will go with a eight. I think they look really, really appetizing, maybe like a little simple, but that's okay. Like this is a dish, here's what it is. You know what you're getting in every bite right in front of you. So really pretty. Thank you. Great. We'll dive right in. Time All to right. taste it. Okay, here we go. Donna says, I don't think I've met I've ever met a pancake that I didn't like. <laughs> it's true. Any kind of pancake. Jenny pancake. says, I make mashed potato pancakes. I've never had that. Well, like latkes, sort yeah. of, right? Yeah. So, no, potato pancakes, yeah. it all counts. Absolutely. <laughs> There's an Indian, pa um, it's not a pancake, but it's called Ooh. alu tiki, and it's made with mashed potatoes that mm. are like formed into a little disc, and they're pretty delicious. Oh, that's really good. I think I probably put too much sauce on it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have dropped it into That's the okay. sauce. Yeah. But it tastes delicious. Mm. Thank you. Okay. You guys watching at home while Jeremy's writing the score for okay. taste, you can write your score mm. in the comment section below. I will go with an eight also. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Really good. I really, I really like the spice coming through in the sauce. I really love the texture of it. I don't know if I'm getting so much coconut, but that's probably because I put too much <laughs> sauce well, on it. I, but I think that's a great but, point yeah. because there isn't a lot of coconut yeah. flavor, mm -hmm. right? So it's a great way to enjoy this dish gluten-free. Um, yeah. And it's not going to overpower you with coconut. I honestly never would have known. If you didn't yeah. tell me, I would have been like, cool, that tastes delicious. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And creativity. Creativity. One to ten. Uh, creativity, I go with a nine. 
Thank you. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really interesting, all the uses of coconut, things I never really would have thought of to use. The coconut flour I've seen, and like I know like a lot of my friends are using coconut tortillas and stuff. Right. The use of like the coconut sugars, like just having, you know, in every part of it, that was really, really interesting, really Thank good. Thank you so really much. Really good use of it. I appreciate it. So Thank great you. scores. We have our viewers who submitted their addresses, oh, and great. including Suzanne, you were one of the winners. She's an avid viewer, so I'm very excited oh, that great. she is one of our viewers. So watch us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. This is Slice, $12 or less, 20 minutes or less in the kitchen to cook a meal for two. Thank you, Ramin. Thank, thank you, you. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you, Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> and check out her cookbook.